Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we are very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on our winner quilt. This is Faith. She is part of our paid member section of our website, which you get a chance to watch the project we're coming that come together. Uh, we work bonus video, uh, content early. There's, you know, there's there's lot there's lots of rewards, trust me. So uh, this is her winner, and we chose the, the backing and the thread and everything else to go with it so this is we're just finishing it off it only has one little section to stitch out here and uh, and then I want to be able to show it to you there so let's get resuming here and this is a dragonfly flower bumblebee leaf stitch out it is very popular here at the quilt shop it suits many many quilts it's very gender neutral uh, but it's lots of people love butterflies lots of people love dragonflies I have a dragonfly tattoo you know so you know it's it's one of the favorites it's actually one of my favorites and when I see a quilt that I think it would look lovely on I'm always suggesting it especially if the back really is able to show off the whole stitch out part of it like the flowers the bees the bum the butterflies and there's a couple of different butterfly stitch outs too there's one like the hole and then there's one that's looking from the side so and then a bunch of little bees so it's it's lovely just finished up the dragonfly right Right now very cute so this is a six and a half inch border these blocks were six inches when I cut them with the saw uh, the ombre fabric that came with the kit this was a kit that was purchased uh, a few years ago when craftsy was craftsy and this is called the color block quilt kit and then we did a little um, angling with some tape and marker on a ruler so I can get try to get these lines the best I could and uh, yeah and this is how it turned out so um, I can't wait for it to finish stitching so I can just kind of pull it out for a little bit there and show you beautiful and it's a pinky purple thread I thought would look best because of the transition of the ombre of the purple fabric here so she's going to get some dark some medium some light and it goes back into a little bit of medium here before the quilt project ends this is a wide back that I have here and uh, I, it's, I, I bought it specifically for one of the moderators of our channel because I know she loves purple and the varying degrees of purple so um, I just I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and I'm happy to share it with people that I think it would look nice on the back of their quilt so, and I think this suits it perfectly, most definitely. Now, if I do happen to run out of bob and thread, I do have a little bit more, but we should be pretty close. I have some if we run out, and that's not a big deal. And then to bind this quilt, I'm going to use black, just because I think it pulls the front and the back all together. And I chose um, a little bit of different colors to go together on this whole project. I mean, it's still the transition from the light to the darks and the oranges and greens and pinks to the greens and the blues and the purples. So that still happens throughout the project. But I, I chose to do different here and there. So, and I ended up having 16 blocks of the six and a half by six and a half left over. So I've made this so far with it. And then I have a white, gray, and a black border that's gonna go on it, and I'm gonna miter it. And I think that's gonna look lovely as an awesome wall hanging. So um, yeah, look forward to uh, the weekend project. I'm gonna show you how to miter. We're gonna do three, three borders, and how to miter three borders. Oh, I love that's one of my favorite butterflies. It comes a little side view, the big wing, the second little wing, so cute. The dragonfly and that butterfly is my favorite. I'm not saying everybody has to have a favorite, but mm. some of you just like a little more than other. And I like the transition of the color. Like you can see it's light to dark, light to dark. You know, some are just dark, depending on how the fabric got cut. Just gonna do another flower here. Like I said, it's bobbin sounding a little light and we are getting close to the end because it's gonna end up about here. And the scale is just going to come over here and, and close to there. Beautiful. Very fun project to work on. Uh, it was easy to come together. And like I said, the, the experimentation of, 
you know, whether I wanted to use more orange and greens or blues in this was up to me. Like I could have added all those colors and taken others out. But once you do all your cutting, you get, you know, 16, six and a half by six and a half. So. And I like it with the little white in between. And then, like I said, with the border, it's gonna match. It's got white, gray, and black. Just kind of pop all those colors out. I didn't think about, I didn't want to add another color to go with this, so. Doing a bumblebee. That's beautiful. I love those purples and blues together right here. They're very pretty. Very, very pretty. So this actually isn't going to Faith. It's actually going to one of her family members that she wants to gift it to. So well, I'll finish it up um, and uh, you know write a little note and send it off to where she wants it to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful quilt. I hope whoever gets it loves it just as much as I loved putting it together and quilting it up and all the prettiness in it. And it's just a, a poly, kind of comfy, comfy, cozy poly batting. Um, unfortunately, I've been very limited in what I can get. So without having to wait a couple months to, to get stuff. So, and I am on waiting lists, trust me. So, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> a little bumblebee. It's got a couple little more stitch outs in here zone and then it'll be done. And then I can be able to show you what it all looks like. So let me just move this off to the side. Okay. We'll unclip this. Love those colors together. They're very pretty. Okay, it's got one more flower and one more butterfly, and then it's pretty much done. So it's just working on the flower right now. Like I said, I can hear the bobbin is getting really low. It's, got a, little, it's a little fluffy there. So I'm gonna just straighten it out. There we go. And I really like that uh, color thread on the, the black. And it really shows up quite nicely on pretty much all the colors here. It was just pretty much the one color we couldn't use was orange. So I'm sure there's a story behind that. <laughs> and why no orange? <laughs> a little leaf and then it's off to do its last little butterfly, which is this is the open up uh, butterfly. One of my favorites. Another one. I like them all. I like them all. <laughs> So pretty. And what a wonderful gift to receive, right? Nothing better than getting a quilt from a loved one. And the fact she was so she was so willing to 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 give it, you know, to give it to someone she cared about. Like I thought that was just that was very lovely. One little swirl and we are done. Okay, perfect. All right, now, as soon as Walt stops, a couple more locking stitches here, there. Now I'm gonna take off the clamps on the side, unhook the top, there we go. And let's give this a little, here, let's unhook this one so we can get that one undone a little bit. There, and unhook, no, 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 not all that way. And unhook this one, there we go. Okay, Let's see if I can show it up from here. Oh, that's gonna, it's gonna get in the way. Okay, now isn't that just a beauty? Oh. That turned out amazing. I absolutely love this quilt project. Uh, like I said, it was pretty fast. Once you got your stuff all squared up, it was bibbidi-bobbidi-boo, done. 
can figure out which what you want to do. I like the lattice work. I do believe you could use this with a lot of other uh, projects, um, including busting your own scraps, having either a white, a gray, something else, and then picking all the colors that have no white or gray in it to go in between, just to kind of make those colors really pop and, and, uh, and just jump out at you. So thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate you here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Uh, we hope you have an amazing Wednesday and uh, we'll see you on the weekend project and then we'll see you on the 12 hour live stream on Saturday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Don't forget Christmas in July. Get your songs going. Take care everybody. Have a, fa have a fantastic day. Take care.